So I wrote about the um, dismal state of Toronto's infrastructure, uh, particularly its transportation infrastructure. The city has published a report recently looking at all of its uh, capital assets, basically all of the, the big structures that the city owns. And uh, the city is literally billions of dollars short of what it needs just to keep things in a state of good repair. We're not talking about actually you know, improving service levels were just the bare minimum to, to get things, to keep things running. And the point I wanted to make with this column is that I, I really don't believe we're actually saving ourselves any money here. When the subway breaks down in a morning rush hour, something that seems to happen more and more frequently these days, um, it forces everyone to either use more expensive alternatives or simply be late for work. Mm. And all of that has a, a real economic impact. Uh, but I also think that's the, there's a broader issue here. And, you know, a lot of the time when we hear people, uh, hear politicians talking about saving taxpayer money. I, I, some of that is undoubtedly true, but I do think that some of it is also shuffling costs around and uh, taking costs that are normally borne by the government and mm. saddling them on uh, the backs of individuals. Can I jump in with a question here? Sure. I mean, presumably the longer range solution to this is to find new and different sources of money for the city so that it can keep its infrastructure in a good state of repair. But where those sources come from, I mean, there's got to be a list of 50 different options on it, everything from a municipal sales tax to an extra hotel tax to getting more money from the feds, from the provinces. I don't know. Take your pick. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, Mayor Olivia Chow has been uh, using the example of uh, the the uh, upcoming Taylor Swift Eras Tour uh, uh, concert in Toronto, saying that this will generate, you know, millions, if not tens of millions of dollars of uh, economic activity uh, that... Ontario will benefit from, Canada will benefit from, and you know who won't benefit from? The city of Toronto. Right. Uh, the city of Toronto doesn't have access to sales tax. It doesn't have access to income taxes, but it's going to have to pay police overtime. Uh, the city for, will. Yeah, yeah uh, for, for the Taylor Swift concert. So, yeah. uh, you know, we, we need to have a, a broader discussion about how we uh, equip cities uh, to uh, handle these kinds of costs. Uh, that has been ongoing for certainly more than a decade, uh, frankly, it goes back to the 1970s in some ways. Uh, I don't think there's any sign of that being resolved.